Hey folks, welcome to the Mediocre Cover Band Guitar Guy, Tuesday edition. It's another day closer to the weekend, so that's pretty awesome. Still not close enough for me. I um, want to thank everyone for the support for the videos I did the weekend. That was really great. Uh, the Steve Ray Vaughn effect, like the comments were awesome. Uh, I really love the engagement. It really makes these worthwhile doing. Okay? Uh, let's see if we can't keep that going. Subscribe to the channel if you get a chance. That would be awesome as well. Um, also, dealing with the comments of the Stevie Ray Vaughan video, an individual had told me I did the intro wrong. Okay? Uh, I'm going to use my Digitech drop here to go to E flat. I did that in the video Sunday as well. And it would go, according to him. I, unfortunately, played it this way. So you can see the huge difference. Um, I played it completely in a different spot on the neck or something than what he'd shown me or explained to me in his mini transcription. I'll let that sink in for a minute. All right, so I got asked a question yesterday. Have I ever been in my band? Has my band ever been fired? The band I play in been fired from a gig. And I guess so. We were never told we were fired. They never came out and said, you guys are fired. It was a situation where we just weren't bought back. Uh, we did try to reach out to somebody to find out why, and uh, we never really got any satisfaction until last year. And uh, we found out uh, in 2023 that it was because of money. And uh, unfortunately, that was the main reason. The second reason was a little case of mistaken identity. I'll leave that there. But anyhow, um, so we just we didn't get bought back. And uh, that happens, you know, to a lot of people, I guess. Sometimes you're never really fired. Unless it's a behavioral thing where, you know, you're drunk on stage, you're cursing, or you're whipping it out, throwing beer bottles at the crowd. Uh, I'm sure that's perfectly acceptable in some bars. I guess you did that at Darnell's. Nobody really gives a shit. You're only playing to the mop in the bucket over there anyway, for the most part. Um, but... You're usually told in that situation that you're getting fired for those reasons. Uh, and you're not going to get back, most likely, because they asked me, what do you do in that situation? You're most likely not getting back. Now, we were offered gigs back at this other bar last year, uh, but the pay cut was that significant. It wasn't, we'd be out money by the time we got back home. You're gone for a full weekend, four-hour drive out, four-hour drive back. Uh, members of our band work in musical retail. They would have to justify being offered a weekend, so you got to make more money than what you're making at work uh, and go home with that money uh, and not have any expenses. And, you know, the other we got another member who has two small children at home. Uh, you're leaving your wife with all that, you know, heavy lifting on her own. Uh, you got to justify coming home with some change in your pocket. I don't mean literally. You have to have, uh, you know, money in there. And it would be the same for me and my partner. Uh, we'd have to justify being gone all weekend, have to do something with the dogs. You got to get people involved in that stuff, which is one of the reasons we don't travel as much as we used to. Uh, unless it's significant, then we'll make arrangements, right? Um, but once again, I'm, I'm gone on. Uh, once again, yeah, we were let go for that reason. So uh, I know some bands that get fired from gigs and are told why they're fired from the gigs, whether it's set list personality, not getting along with the staff at the club, not getting along with the regulars in the club, not going over well in a whole bunch of other areas, playing like a bunch of uh, skid row covers. You name it, there's all kinds of reasons to be fired and bands get fired for them. And um, th this is why it's important to be professional, once again. Because uh, you're being hired to do a job. You're not there for a night out. It's not your party. You're doing a job. You're being hired to go there and perform a service that is successful to what you're doing. And that is entertaining. And if you're not doing that, you're not getting back. So 90% of the time when you let go from a gig, you're not getting back, right? So you might, if it's a set list issue and you say you can correct it, they might give you a second chance and you can ask. It's behavioral. You're gone. Uh, and it can follow you, right? Some bars won't have certain people in there. Like you could have five people in a band 
that were fired from a bar because they were getting drunk on stage and whatever, um, you know, making advances at bar staff. And then all five disband and start five different bands. And then those five bands can't get into the bar because the owner, if he's got a memory like an elephant, has those individuals banned from the bar, so then the bands are barred too. That's the way it works. So anyway, I hope I answered that the best that I uh, could. Uh, I threw in that little bit of advice and a rant and uh, Joe Biden sort of moment. And uh, that's what you get when you do one of these right after work, I think. So uh, I just want to say thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, if you could give a subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well, uh, or a like, or comment. Uh, and if you are going to comment, let's be adults about it. And uh, you don't need to like go all fucking crazy and shit. Um, you don't like something, you don't like it. You don't have to like it. That's life. I mean, you're an adult in a free world, right? This is what Neil Young worked so fucking hard for all of his life. And remember, Rod Stewart loves you.